outside today going to the Adidas Brand Center to pick up these Gazelle indoors. So uh, let's get it. So we made it back and let me just start by saying I did not expect these to be as nice as they are. Um, this is my first pair of Gazelle indoors and I understand why people like these so much now seeing them in hand. A little bit of quick history on these. These were originally designed as an indoor soccer shoe. We can see that from the modified traction pattern here. but. Just like a lot of the other Adidas Originals releases that we get, like the Samba, the Superstar, and of course the Gazelle, they've transcended their original usage, whether it's basketball or tennis or soccer, and they have become a lifestyle staple for a lot of people. Not only are they a comfortable shoe, but they just look really, really nice. And these are no different. I really like this particular colorway because of that translucent rubber there, but Enough said, let's take a closer look at these, starting from the upper. All right, so before we get into the upper details, let's take a quick look at the packaging here. So these come in your standard Adidas Originals box, and they're blue. Nothing really too special about this, but taking a look at the label here. Official name of these, Gazelle Indoor W for women. So this is technically a woman's release, and that's what the sizing chart is based out of. So. My regular size in Adidas um, is a size eight. The conversion in Adidas is one full size up. So I got a size nine and these fit perfectly. So one full size up from your regular Adidas men's size and you should be good to go. Now let's take a closer look at these starting from the upper and the majority of your upper is in this smooth white leather. As far as the quality of the leather goes, it is very nice for the $120 retail. What I really like about these is the is how dark the color choice was for these three stripes. We have this green, black, and green. And I think those colors are really complemented by this semi-translucent gum midsole outsole. Really cool that because it's such a dark color for these three stripes, you can really see them peeking through the midsole here. I think that's a really cool look. And you get that on both sides of the shoe. So no change here in the variation of colors. Your middle stripe is black and you have your two green there. Taking a look at the toe box here, it does look pretty narrow, right? But actually on feet, these fit pretty medium. I didn't feel like my foot was being squeezed or anything. There was plenty of space for me. And uh, these were actually surprisingly comfortable. Very form fitting, I will say. The worst thing that you can have in a shoe is your foot sliding around in it. That's how you get blisters. So you want your foot to be right. And um, these get it. Little gazelle detail there on the tongue. It is perforated. You have this design on it as well as our Adidas Trifold badge here. These come stock with flat white laces. No extra set of laces with these. The inner lining is also a white leather material. So these will last. Most likely this is a synthetic leather and we get that same sort of look and feel for our sock liner as well. The underside of this looks to be ortholite, but it has the little speckles, which means it is some recycled materials in there. You get a little extra little piece of padding here for the arch of your foot. Adidas branding there, a little bit of glue. Moving on now to the midsole and outsole, we do get our Gazelle indoor midsole outsole so these were designed as an indoor soccer shoe so they get a redesigned rubber cup sole in this department aside from the color this is also a really interesting addition this was my first pair of gazelle indoors and this little like outrigger piece here that goes all around the midsole actually adds a substantial amount of stability or at least the feeling of stability under your feet i was surprised by how comfortable the Gazelle Indoor is, and I think this uh, redesigned cup sole has a large part to do with it. As far as traction goes, indoors or outdoors, I think you're going to be covered. A really sticky rubber um, material here on this, but also 
because of the way that the pattern is designed, really flexible. These are, these are pretty much huge flex screws for the whole entire outsole of your shoe um, with the added benefit of just looking really cool. All those little Triafold logos in there, a really cool detail, um, but also very grippy, if you know what I mean. And there you have it. That is my review of these right here, the Gazelle Indoors. Again, I really love the modified design on these from the midsole here and this outrigger that goes around the whole entire shoe. Honestly, it's probably just a couple millimeters, if that, but it adds a lot of stability under feet, or at least the feeling of stability under feet. The colorway, I think, is also super nice with those two contrast colors on the three stripes here. One of the better Gazelle indoor colorways that have released but if for whatever reason, this translucent look on the midsole is not your vibe, we actually today, February 9th, got another release of the Gazelle Indoors from Kith. That colorway is also uh, mostly white upper with some green accents on it. But instead of this translucent type rubber for our midsole outsole, you get a solid there. So. And I checked the price. These are 120 For that Kith collaboration, you're only paying an extra $10, which... You know, it's not as bad as I expected them to be. So I'll leave a link in the description for this colorway as well as that Kith colorway. And um, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like the video. If you found it helpful, subscribe for more sneaker content. If you have any questions on these, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.